Today we are at the Chicken Island parking lot in Gary Square, right behind Shop Fair for food donation. Mayor Mike Spann is here and many other elected officials donating food to those that uh, are in need for some food. So come on down if you need a little help, if you need some food to take home. Commissioner, we are supposed to be giving food, not taking food. Gotta feed me sometime, I can't run 24-7 without fuel. What's up, brother? Commissioner, it's always nice to see you. Today, it's an important... You filming me now? Yeah. You eating? Right. That's right. <laughs> Fire. That's, that's the, one of the setbacks with live stream, <laughs> Commissioner. But you're here. You're here to help the people of the city that you love, I love, we all love. Young. Absolutely. Words are nothing without actions. And this is it. This is actions. Showing that we care for the people of Young. Are you here to help? I'm, we're always here to help. Uh, obviously, this is the, the mayor's initiative. The mayor's there giving out boxes of food to uh, residents of Yonkers. Um, I'm here as a commissioner to provide whatever support the mayor needs. We've got a, a truck coming. Um, we're going to deliver some to uh, some of those that are in uh, uh, Yonkers Municipal Housing. Um, but today, I'm focused on cleaning up Yonkers because uh, yesterday's storm was pretty devastating. We had probably around 150 trees come down and another 150 large tree limbs. So our teams are out there. Uh, we, we cleared the roadways yesterday, or most of them. There's still some that are blocked. There, the, the, the tertiary streets and the dead end streets, but the major roadways are, are open up so that emergency services can get through and people can go to work if they have to go to work. Um, and today we'll just be focused on cleaning that up. Today, tomorrow, and Friday, uh, just let everybody know if you have tree limbs that come down, cut them into small pieces, put them on the sidewalk, and we'll be by to pick them up. Any idea about power, electricity? I have a, what time is it? I have an 11 o'clock conference call with Con Ed. Uh, we have 10,800 customers out, Yonkers customers out right now. We're trying to get a status and, and an update of when they're going to send additional crews into Yonkers because we've only seen a couple of crews. So we're trying to get more. Had this uh, conversation with the mayor about 10 o'clock this morning. And I'm waiting for Con Ed to uh, do their conference call. They do their emergency conference call. Have they told you how they're prioritizing the, the repairs? Are they going to the senior building first? The people that depend on oxygen and other stuff? All year long, for, for the last eight years since I've been here, um, there's, there's emergency plans. And they have a priorit prioritization plan. We've gone through. We have over 100 buildings in Yonkers that are identified as priorities. Um, they not only include government buildings, the hospitals, uh, nursing homes, places where, where, where um, uh, people are sick or, or incapacitated. Those are all on the Con Ed's priority list. However, it's not that simple. They just can't come and fix a wire that leads to St. Joseph's Hospital. Sometimes it may be a feed that's coming across all of Yonkers and they have to fix it over on the east side of Yonkers because it's feeding the west side of Yonkers. So it's a complicated grid of, of uh, wires and, and transmission lines um, that pretty much only Con Ed understands, because I don't. You know, you know, Commission, let's touch base on that, because we have a lot of people asking, how is this prioritized? Where do they go first? Which area do they repair first? Because people don't understand the complexity of the work. So we're going to touch base on that in a little bit, if you don't mind. Is that OK? Yeah, sure. Strong is what we call the whole thing. Are they 
talk to everybody on the census? Have they talked to everybody who's on the line? They've been here since 8 yeah. Good. And they got some people filling? Yep. Good. They they've been registered. All right, excellent. They tried to get me. I did it right. <laughs> right, we did our census. That's so important. And that it is. You know, you know the federal government cut us back a month. Yeah, yeah. That's not good. That doesn't help. All right, Mayor Spano, can you tell us what's going on here today? Today's food distribution, what it means to Yonkers? Well, you know, the, the, they just came out with a report talking about unemployment covering around 17% here in the city of Yonkers. Just a year ago, uh, we were hovering at 4%, uh, with the lowest unemployment rates. And, you know, it doesn't take much to figure out that uh, in that 17% are probably the most struggling families in the city. Uh, many of the undocumented are, are who don't have any access to some of the government uh, benefits that are being provided to uh, people in the community are, are suffering. And so uh, what PCNY does, and Michelle uh, and, and the entire crew, is making this food available. It's really, uh, it's really a lifeblood. I mean, it's, it's just, it's truly will make a difference in the lives of many families here in our city, especially those struggling through this uh, horrible pandemic that uh, has resulted in uh, a real crisis in terms of the economy as it pertains to struggling with the working families. That's great. Michelle, can you tell us a little bit about the PCNY organization and why Yonkers loves the children? Guys, come on down, come on down to Chicken Island. If you need some food, there is food donation going on. The mayor is here. Many other officials are here helping out the community. Well, nice to see you again. It seems like we've been uh, finding each other in events like this every week. Helping the people of Yonkers, I see. That's what it's all about, Ru. It's always been my passion to be here for my community. And in these dire times where people are suffering from food insecurity, they don't know where they'll get their next meal or where they'll get their produce, I'm happy to come out and help and be among some like-minded individuals here in our city who want to do whatever we can to ensure that our residents are meeting their needs. So I'm just happy for the opportunity to be here and lend a helping hand. So action, not words, it's really what matters, correct? That's all that matters, because that's what makes an impact in the lives of our residents. Exactly, we can say whatever we want. Mm -hmm. We can write whatever we want. Until we start doing what we're saying, we're not going to change much. That's right. People need action. They need people who will come out and be there for them. Not just talk the good talk, but come out there and do what they can to help them live their lives, especially in such difficult times as we're in right now. So I'm just really grateful for this opportunity. No, you have something else coming up Saturday, right? You want to make that announcement now that we are live? Yes, we do. I will be partnering or attending a, a backpack book drive with Pastor Joel Polo of Ebenezer Nation Church at 245 South Broadway. There will also be a health fair. There will be 200 book bags donated to families, first come, first serve. So make sure you're there on Saturday. I'll post a flyer on my page. Come out, get a backpack, participate in the health fair so we can be as healthy as we can. So Saturday the 8th at what time? Starts at what time? It's from 12 to 2. Guys, show up. Show up, you know, come and get your book bag, do your health check. I'm sure they're going to be doing some health check. Yes. So I will see you there. Yes, and if you have some time, come on down. Look, we have all this food here. We're at Chicken Island. It's done by the mayor and PCNY, making sure that we have fresh produce during these difficult times. Thank you. Thank you, Ru. Uh, to answer your question, uh, let's go back to 
consensus. Yep, if you become consensus, it's critically important. It's critically important for Yonkers and for our future. They, they, it's estimated that for every person who's undercounted in this city, it's $2,500 a year loss. All right? So if you got 5,000 people, it's millions, millions of dollars annually that's lost. You know who it's lost to? The most vulnerable in our community, those who need it most. And so all of you, anyone, anyone who listens, uh, participate in the census. If you're undocumented, participate in the census because that information can never be used against you. But there's a benefit to you and to your family in terms of age education, in terms of, of, of COVID, in terms of representation, because congressional lines will be done based on census tracking, uh, state legislative lines, county legislative lines, city council lines are all done based on census tracking. If you're not counted, you will not be represented. And, uh, and all I can do is implore upon you. The federal government already cut a month from us. So now we have to get our work done to the end of September. Well, one month has been taken away from us. So this is even more urgent. We need to get signed up for the census. It means tremendous aid for the city. It means tremendous aid for you as a family. And, uh, and I, I can't, like I said, I can't say enough about it. That's why the census people are here today. And, uh, and they're here. And you know what? They're going to fill it out for you. It's only a couple of questions. They'll fill it out for you just so that you're counted. Be counted. Thank you. Mayor, can I ask a question? Do we have any data, any data on how many people have turned out for the, not exactly, but for the census? The response we're 58, right? Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're hovering about 58% right now, which is still below where we were last year. Uh, believe it or not, it's uh, not terribly horrible by comparison to other, be other better. communities. The other communities, but you know what? We lose a person. We, we lose the fund, so we need to get out there and get a hundred percent of the people counted, and, uh, and that's what we're attempting to do. So, Mayor, may, many folks don't understand that uh, the census is connected to, to many of the programs we get. That if we don't get those programs, is directly because we didn't fill up the census. We need to come down and do it. It's it, it, many of the programs that the, the government offers are based on census. Take a look at COVID. COVID-19 hit us hard, and it hit 107.01, hit 107.05, hit two communities of color, struggling families. The worst hit the hardest, but you know what? That, those particular areas are the areas that are undercounted the worst. And so uh, when we need funding to provide for uh, COVID relief, we can't get it to the extent that we should because we're undercounted. We need to change that paradigm, and that's what we're attempting to do. So guys, come on down if you need some food. Do your census here. It only takes a minute or two. It's just a few words. Do it online. Don't matter how you do it, how the song says, just do it. Let's do it. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, come on down. Census, it's extremely, extremely important. I think it's more important than lots of people realize. Come on down to Chicken Island. Do your census here. It takes only a minute or two. It's only a couple questions. Do it because the programs that very often we complain that we do not have it, it's because we do not fill the census. So come on down and fill your census 2020. You need to come down, but if you can't, go online, do it online. It doesn't matter how you do it, just do it. And your legal status in United States has no bearing into this. Just do the census 2020.